Mediating Disputes, A Path to Understanding and Resolution. Hello and welcome, everyone. Today, we're going to dive into an important and useful phrase in the English language, mediate the dispute. Understanding this phrase not only enriches your vocabulary but also equips you with knowledge on how to handle conflicts effectively. So, let's get started and explore what it means to mediate a dispute, how it's done, and why it's so important. Mediate the dispute refers to the process of involving a neutral third party to help resolve a conflict or disagreement between two or more parties. Unlike a judge or an arbitrator, the mediator doesn't make decisions for the parties. Instead, they facilitate communication, promote understanding, and assist the parties in reaching a mutually acceptable agreement. The key here is the role of the mediator as a facilitator rather than a decision maker. The process of mediation typically involves several steps, designed to encourage open communication and find a common ground. Let's break down these steps. 1. Introduction. The mediator introduces themselves and explains the rules and objectives of the mediation. 2. Statement of the problem by the parties. Each party has the chance to share their side of the story without interruption. 3. Identification of issues. The mediator helps identify the main issues that need to be addressed. 4. Bargaining and generating options. The parties discuss their needs and interests to find possible solutions. 5. Reaching an agreement. The mediator assists the parties in negotiating a settlement that is acceptable to all. The aim is to ensure that all parties feel heard and understood, and to find a solution that respects everyone's needs. Mediation is crucial because it offers a less confrontational and often more efficient way to resolve disputes compared to going to court. It emphasizes voluntary participation. The parties choose to mediate and have more control over the outcome. Confidentiality. Mediation is private, and the discussions cannot be used as evidence if the dispute goes to court later. Flexibility. Solutions can be more creative and tailored to the specific needs of the parties. Preservation of relationships. Mediation can help maintain or even improve relationships by fostering understanding and cooperation. I hope this video has shed some light on what it means to mediate the dispute and how valuable this process can be in resolving conflicts. Whether in personal relationships, at work, or in various social settings, understanding and applying the principles of mediation can lead to more harmonious and constructive outcomes. Thank you for watching, and may you find this knowledge helpful in navigating the complexities of communication and conflict resolution. See you in our next video.